We know that consumers are eager to purchase this coverage, and to the millions of Americans who have attempted to use healthcare.gov to shop and enroll in health care coverage, I want to apologize to you that the website has not worked as well as it should. We know how desperately you need affordable coverage. Marilyn Tavener under fire on the Hill yesterday. The White House is battening down the hatches as President Obama tries to preserve his, preserve his record amid mounting scandals. With the scoop on what's going on in his inner circle, we have WSJ's Colleen McCain-Nelson. Colleen, thank you very much for being there. Thanks for having me. So what's going on is we, we hear a, a drumbeat of there are problems with the rollout of the affordable care act known as obamacare uh, we're hearing other other problems that the white house is having what's been going on what have you dug out to tell us about what's going on in his inner circle well it's interesting as we've seen all these problems with the health care rollout and and just kind of all the controversy that the white house has faced they've not been very transparent about what they've known and what their role is and, and what exactly is is happening inside the White House. And from talking with White House officials uh, in the last couple of days, we've started to learn a little bit about how they're involving themselves in trying to fix the Affordable Care Act website, um, trying to actually get involved in the nitty gritty of this. President Obama was very frustrated that he was sent out to pitch this website to compare it to uh, compare buying health insurance to, to buying a plane ticket. And so he now is getting a daily, a nightly report where he sees all the metrics of the progress that they're making on the website. His chief of staff, Dennis McDonough, is having a meeting at the end of each day uh, to talk about the website. So we're now seeing the West Wing get a lot more involved in making sure this gets fixed as quickly as possible. Now we're going to see Kathleen Sebelius, the uh, the head of the Health and Human Services. Uh, she's the secretary of that, uh, and she will face a House panel today. I imagine that will be testy. I think that's a good guess. Uh, she will she will definitely face a lot of tough questions. She will probably just face a lot of uh, just speeches that are not really questions, but just uh, kind of anger directed at her. Um, a number of Republicans have called for her to resign. I mean, she's kind of been the face of this operation, and so uh, a number of lawmakers have been have been waiting to get their chance to uh, to say things to her and and to ask her questions. Now, one one of the things I find interesting about about your story is that you've you've even got Democratic politicians are on the Hill uh, saying that there hasn't been communication with from the White House about what's going on, and, and even there, there's a drumbeat from the Democratic side to say, "Hey, maybe the individual mandate, which is where you have to buy health care, should be delayed, made optional, perhaps." Um, tell us more about that. Right. It's it's notable when Democrats start to criticize the White House and, and they they have had a very unified front on uh, the Affordable Care Act. And now we're starting to see some break off and call for uh, a delay in the individual mandate or an extension of the enrollment period. And we're also just hearing kind of uh, just general unhappiness from some Democratic lawmakers saying that they're not really get, um, getting much information from the White House and, and also hearing from some White House allies, some former administration officials say they're a little bit worried that perhaps uh, the White House uh, officials are uh, kind of worn out from battle after battle and uh, that perhaps they've been a little bit insular. So we're hearing some concerns coming from Democrats, not just criticism coming from Republicans. Well, it sounds like we're going to have a lot of great stuff to uh, watch today on the Hill with Kathleen Sebelius. Thank you very much, Colleen McCain-Nelson. We appreciate your time. Thank you.